while. Alright, that's a little bit better. Hi guys, what's up? It's Amanda and welcome back to Tokyo. So today will be a day in my life Japan vlog because I feel like it had been a while since I've done a vlog in Japan. Join me in a day with me, Amanda, in Tokyo. So I promise you that wedding dress vlog is coming. I just needed a timeout break because I really needed to do a vlog here. I have yet to really do a day in my life vlog here. But I think today's a good day for that. I'm really feeling it. Normally, today being Friday, I would work at my high school. But today they're getting ready for their school festival, so I get the day off. I still have my second job today, which is the um, cram school that I work at. Lately, I've been feeling um, a little bit down. So I have a lot of shit going on right now. I'm trying to balance everything, which is also stressful. So I got a lot of stress going on right now. So I need to take a time out and just spend the day enjoying myself. So there are a couple things I want to do. I, today was payday! Make it rain, make it rain! Today was payday, so I'm gonna go get my money from the ATM and do some bills. I am in charge of the bills now. So I need to get some earrings and some new cosmetics. I also want to go to a coffee place and just kind of relax and enjoy myself. I just want to enjoy vlogging today and I just want to enjoy showing my life today. Oh, also because I am back on intermittent fasting and a ketogenic diet. It is about 11.47, almost time to eat. So time to get out and about. Thinking about holding that laundry. Thinking about it. Anyways, lots of things to do today. Let's get going. Let's explore a little bit and then off to work. This is what drying clothes looks like in Japan. I guess people do change. That you're an enemy I held too close. There you are. Hello. <laughs> Just putting my clothes away before I head out. Ah, don't look at my under! Don't look! Also, um, Yuji and I have been doing really good about not going crazy on the drinking, which definitely can happen if you come to Japan, so beware that alcohol will consume you. Anyways, so we've been doing really good, so we've been drinking this non-alcoholic beer. We go through our cans, which our trash cans are out on the balcony, so dumping out the trash. Non-alcoholics. And salsa jar. The essentials. So right now I'm on my way to a very expensive coffee shop, but the aesthetics are on point. I really love to play. And now that I won, then it's safe to say. Actually scratch that um, we're not going to the perfectly aesthetic cafe because it was too crowded so I think I'm really getting hungry so I really want to get some food first and then maybe I'll go back to the cafe to get a pick-me-up so I'm like starving right now right and I'm on this ketogenic intermittent fasting diet. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it is really tough to be on the ketogenic part of this diet in Japan. <sighs> and it, the, like, I think the, the hardest part is the willpower. But there are some places that you can get keto-friendly food. So there are ways around it. I've been on like a keto diet on and off for the past year. So we're gonna go to one of these restaurants, get me some keto-friendly food. Probably still be hungry afterwards, but hey, that's life. Okay, so we have arrived to the correct department store, walking to the food courtish restaurant area. And there are two restaurants here that I consider to be keto friendly. Of course, I'm not a nutritionist, but I do my best. 
Maybe someday we can work it out, but I'm afraid it's too late to try. So what I'm gonna get is the Rosu Tonkatsu, 480 yen, which is about four dollars and eighty cents U.S. dollars, and no rice. So that should be good. You can go to some of these tonkatsu places and you can request for no rice. So what I had said, and I said in Japanese, is that I want the roast tonkatsu set. So rosuto tonkatsu. And then I said, uh, I don't need rice. So I said, gohan iranai desu. So one more time. Gohan iranai desu. If you use that phrase throughout Japan, I guess you can get a lot of keto friendly meals here and not have to pay extra or feel like you're wasting food. That's the most important for me. It's like, I don't want to waste the rice. And I just, you know, it's it's not proper. Don't, don't waste food, people. So, like I said, this is not like 100% keto friendly because of the panko and the breading. The breading is really thin. So good. Okay, I'm gonna eat five for you. After lunch, I went shopping. I went to the bookstore to browse the children's books and magazines. Did some earring shopping and cosmetic shopping. I also perused the Halloween merchandise a bit. Then I was on my way to the cafe. This is where I experienced what I felt was discrimination. Please note that this is my own personal feelings and that there are two sides to every story. I could be wrong about my perception of the situation. Discrimination happens everywhere. Regardless of this experience, I want everyone to know I still love Japan. Whew. Okay, I'm home now. I have my hair up like this because my students told me to wear my hair like this. So this is what I'm doing right now. So I'm about to tell Yuji my story about the cafe and my experience. I was going to tell you guys earlier, but honestly I was on my way to work and I didn't, didn't really find the right opportunity to tell you about it. So I thought now would be a good opportunity. So babe, I want to tell you about what happened to me today. Shoot. Shoot. I'm an alcoholic. Because we're body animals! Thank you. I need a drink first. Okay. I'm not an alcoholic drink. Remember that cafe, Dear All, in Sasazuka? I decided to go there because they have a really like popular Instagram. Um, they have like over 8,000 followers and I remember that cafe to be really aesthetic. So I wanted to go there and shoot a little bit and like take a photo and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. So I go there and I order my 650 yen Cappuccino, 650 and cappuccino. Mm -hmm. Little itty bitty bitty cappuccino I got. It was about this big, right? Okay. But I, I bought it because I'm like I'm paying to take the picture, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sitting against the wall like this. So here I am sitting, here's the wall. There's no one on either side of me, and the camera's facing me, and basically it's me up against the wall. And I'm about to drink my coffee in this shot. And the manager comes up to me and he's like, oh, are you taking a picture? Mm -hmm. uh, and I was like, yes, I'm taking a picture. And then of me drinking the coffee, I told him and he's like, obviously he was telling me not to film. Um, so I was going to respect that and turn off my camera after that and not put it on YouTube, right? Which I'm not going to, right? But I am going to talk about my experience because you can't stop me from doing that. Uh, he's like, oh, okay, and he walks away. I turn off my camera and I think about it for a while and I go on Instagram to check their Instagram. I'm like, hey, don't people post photos of this cafe on Instagram? And I go and I see that people post photos all the time about this cafe on Instagram. They have a very active Instagram account. They have over 8,000 followers. I go back up to him and I'm like, and he's speaking English to me, so I'm speaking in English. And I'm like, excuse me, are you not allowed to take photos here? He's like, oh, well, you can, but not a lot. And I was like, what do you mean, not a lot? Like, what is a lot? Like, I mean, like, I'm not paparazzi, right? And then I was like, okay. I said, so people aren't allowed to take photos here. He's like, well, not a lot. And then I bring out my phone. I'm like, this is your Instagram account. He's like, and then he says, oh, it is? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's what he said. 
He said, oh, what, it is. A liar. what a liar, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, this is your Instagram account. Dear all, it says oh, it right really? here. Oh, really? Let me take a look. People take pictures here all the time. And then he's like, oh, yeah, but he's like, yeah, but uh, we don't want a lot of pictures to be taken. I And then he goes on to say, I've been talking to some managers and we all agree that there's too many photos being taken in the cafes. Like it's some bougie, like manager alliance thing that they've been all coming together to talk about how people take too many pictures in cafes. I was like, uh, okay, whatever. And then he said this, he said, we're a very small cafe. No, no, your Instagram has over 8,000 followers. You're not a very small cafe. And he's like, well, we don't want any photos to be taken of customers. I was like, but I wasn't taking photos of customers. I had the camera facing me. He said, we, you should respect Japanese culture. What? What does taking photos have to do with Japanese culture? And I said, excuse me, I live here. I know, with like, I'm like, I know what Japanese culture is. I'm not a tourist. I live here. I, what do you mean Japanese culture? You know, it's just a Japanese culture thing. Yeah, like what kind of Japanese culture was he talking about? Like, I think he meant to be, uh, privacy. Like protecting the customer's privacy. Oh yeah, for sure. But again, I wasn't taking photos of anybody. And also, okay, like granted, I don't feel like I am entitled to take photos or videos of wherever I want. That is not the case at all. But I just couldn't comprehend, wait a minute, your cafe. What cafe can you go to in Tokyo and not take a photo? Like, I want to take a photo of my coffee. Are you telling me I can't take a photo of my coffee? It was just weird. So I was just like, it just, and it didn't make sense because it wasn't a, like a private cafe. There was no sign. Like that's another thing that kind of triggered me is like, wait a minute, you have no sign posted here that says you cannot take a photo. If you had a sign posted, then I'd be like, oh, put it away. Can't do it, right? There was no sign posted. You came to me specifically. So I cannot think of it any other reason but the fact that he was targeting me because I looked like a tourist. I was a foreigner and I felt it was a discrimination type of thing because I cannot think of any other reason why you would come up to me specifically and tell me I can't take pictures. I don't know if it was a discrimination thing but I felt it was a discrimination thing. What do you think? Yeah I will feel the same way but like especially in this case you didn't get a clear explanation of why you weren't allowed to take pictures. Like right. he wasn't being clear and like all what he was saying was didn't make sense. Right, and like so, then they made it about a Japanese culture thing and I'm like, what? You, you were just confused and, you know, just felt discriminated. It's not, it wasn't decent. No, it wasn't decent. It was weird. But, oh no, but this was the big thing, right? Like after all that, after today, I went to their Instagram account and I'm going to put the photo here. But literally they put on their story, someone else had posted a picture of their cafe on their own personal Instagram account and literally it says thank you for posting this and commenting this beautiful comment. Anyways, that's my story. I just needed a, an explanation like why I can't, I just couldn't put it together. You're a cafe in Tokyo with no sign posted that I can't take photos or videos here. I'm not taking photos of any of your customers. I'm taking photos of me drinking the coffee. So I cannot put, you own a cafe in Tokyo. I cannot take a picture in here. Your coffee is 650 yen. I didn't buy your tiny cappuccino to drink it, you know, I, like in peace. I, I bought the cappuccino to take a picture of it. And that's what people do today, unfortunately, but that's what people do. If I want a 600 yen cappuccino, I will go to Starbucks and get a large cappuccino. So anyways, that's my story. I don't experience discrimination a lot in Tokyo, um, but sometimes it does happen, but it happens in every country, right? So if you've experienced discrimination in Japan or in Tokyo, I would love to hear your story and how you dealt with that as a foreigner, right? Because I would think it would be more discrimination towards foreigners, but any type of discrimination, I would love to hear the story about that. Or if you're Japanese and you've experienced discrimination in another country, I wanna hear about that as well. But that's the end of my day, a day in my life in Japan. So I'm gonna finish my non-alcoholic now.
party. I have work tomorrow, that's why. Uh, so I will see you guys next time in the next vlog. I'll see you soon. Subscribe if you want to see me soon too. Bye!